Hello, my name is Sabaun Zeb and I'm a research assistant at the Precision Medicine Lab, Peshawar, Pakistan. Today I'm going to talk about CMOS, which is an encyclopedia of multiomic stacks and their respective cell lines in head and neck squamous cell carcinoma. In cancer research, cancer models are utilized to better understand the tumor microenvironment. And in this process, cancer cell lines are a major tool to understand cancer on both genetic and epigenetic levels, and also the cellular pathways that are involved in cancer. And similarly, it goes for HNSCC cell lines. These cell lines are either established through cell culture assays, such as 2D monolayer and 3D spheroid cell culture systems, or the explant cultures. Until date, globally, hundreds of HNSCC cell lines have been established. Although these cell lines have been established and the data is present in various databases such as Cellosaurus, Cancer Cell Line Encyclopedia, Cell Model Passport, Cosmic, Gene Expression Omnibus, and many other databases. But this data is scattered and this needs to be cataloged. We got our inspiration for CMOS database from a study conducted by Dr. Stephen Lai's lab in 2006, where they established a catalog of 428 HNSCC cell lines that included data on demographics, mice xenograft models, and TP53 mutations. Since then, the cancer research has been revolutionized with the advancements in cell culturing techniques, sequencing technologies, and multiomics approach. And now the literature lacks an updated extensive review of established HNSCC cell lines with the multiomic analysis data. Our goal was to establish a catalog of HNSCC cell lines and all the available data out there and give it a shape of a database. Following was our approach of conducting the study with main focus on collecting data on demographics, primary cell culture protocols, mice xenograft models, reported mutations, and multiomic analysis. Uh, so till May 2020, we collected data on 979 head and neck squamous cell carcinoma cell lines uh, that included the demographic data, reagents used in primary cell culture uh, protocols, uh, mice xenograft models, multiomic uh, data sets, and all the reported mutations for these cell lines. Starting with the demographics, we collected data on tissue type, country or ethnicity, uh, substance abuse history, treatments performed, and other parameters such as age, gender, TNM stage, HPV status. Uh, similarly, data was uh, collected for the reagents that are used in primary cell culture protocols uh, such as primary medium, supplements, antibiotic and antimycotic solutions, mice xenograft models, and other parameters such as storage condition, carbon dioxide rate, doubling time, monolayer cultures, 3D cultures, biosafety levels, and the commercial availability of the cell line. Uh, for the reported mutations, uh, data was collected from various databases such as uh, CBI portal, tumor portal, and uh, many more uh, relevant uh, sources. Uh, so uh, we came to know that in the HNSCC cell lines, uh, uh, basically uh, the most occurring mutations uh, were TP53, CDK N2A, PIK3 CA, and NOTCH1. And over here, if you see the blocks, they are basically uh, representing the cell lines that were uh, studied uh, or used in a similar study. So the most exciting part of our study was uh, collecting a lot of multi-omic data sets for these uh, head and neck squamous cell carcinoma cell lines. And we uh, collected data for 10 ohms uh, that included expression profiling by array, non-coding RNA profiling, uh, methylation profiling, RNA-seq, chip-seq, proteome, uh, whole exome sequencing, whole genome sequencing, metabolome, and SNP array. And over here, the blocks represent uh, represents, uh, uh, cell lines that were being used in similar studies or in large-scale screens and the most exciting part was that for all the 10 ohms, uh, uh, data was available uh, in three cell lines uh, that were Cal27, FADU, and HSC2.
and once we collected all the available information for these 979 head and neck squamous cell carcinoma cell lines what we did was that we gave it a shape uh, of a database that we call CMOS uh, which stands for cells with multiomic stacks and it can be accessed uh, through the following uh, link uh, so we established a comprehensive catalog of 979 HNSCC cell lines. Uh, we uh, collected data on the demographics, reagents, use, uh, reagents used in primary cell culture protocols, xenograft models, reported mutations, and all the available, available multi-omic data sets out there. Uh, we cataloged it and uh, we gave it a shape of a database that we call CMOS and we uh, hope that this database it will be a benchmark for the young researchers and the scientific community that are uh, who are working on head and neck cancers uh, for breakthroughs in uh, HNSCC research uh, by using computational and experimental analysis these are my acknowledgments thank you